I'm Leila here at Mobile World Congress 2011. This is my fourth year coming here, and uh, you know, from the last couple of years, Google has only been building up their presence. And today I'm joined with Tim, who's an Android developer advocate, and we're at Android Land. So can you describe what this is? Well, I'm not sure whether you call it a booth or a stand, but it's, it's pretty big, and it's extremely green, as you may have noticed. Um, there's a large area here, out around the edge of the area where people walk by. We have a bunch of stands that are featuring 40 or 50 different interesting applications that are running on Android devices. You know, phones are interesting, tablets are interesting, but the applications that people actually run on them are what's really interesting. And for my money, the most fun you can have on the stand is walking around and looking at those programs. Now we've got a place where we're giving away smoothies over there, and there's a slide you can slide down, and then there's a bunch of people like me who are hiding in the back corners for people who come with uh, hard questions about Android. <laughs> and as you can see, it's a madhouse in here all the time. And I've got a couple pins on me, and I'm told that there's 86 in total. 86 unique pins. And how do we find them? Because I only have two. It seems that there's a lot more well, out there. Well, I notice people walk around the stand uh, from time to time, giving them out. And, 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 and you'll find, I think, as you go around the show, that there are some to be found at other stands as well. So, Wait, so tell me a little bit about your partners. I mean, Whole8 seems to be dominated right now by Android. Uh, well, it's open source software. There's essentially no cost to get in. If people like working with mm -hmm. it. People like the applications that run on it. And so, you know, a low barrier to entry is, is a really big deal. And, and there, it is low, and, and the results you can see just by looking around uh, around Mobile World Congress. Uh, well, one of the smoothies that you have here is a uh, honeycomb that's flavored, right. and that's uh, one of your latest tablet optimized right. operating well, systems. We try and have a little bit of fun with our software. So each time we release a major new release of the software, we give it a code name, and it's always the name of a dessert. Uh, but the first one that became visible was cupcake, then donut, then eclair, then froyo for frozen yogurt, and gingerbread. And the one that is just coming out now as we speak is honeycomb. Well, what can we see next? What can we see next? Yeah, which which dessert would be the next well, one? Well, we'll begin, we'll begin with yeah. the letter I. So ice cream, Possibly. sandwich. OK, can you tell us a little bit about Android's market reach? Right, so the reach is, is large, but what's surprising is that in 2008, the reach was zero. It didn't exist. So I could go through the details, but let's just talk about where we are now. Right at the moment, there are 170 different Android devices that are going around on a, on a sushi boat arrangement back there for sale in almost 100 countries. We are activating 300,000 new devices a day. In Android market, there are 150,000 applications. Uh, and all of these curves, if you graph them, are going up at an insane rate. It, it's, it's an astounding time to be in this business, and, and I'm just thankful to be in it because it's so much fun. One of the main incentives for Android is obviously the developer community, how open it is. But what, what's Android doing, or Google in particular, doing to attract more developers onto its platform? Well, look around you. Uh, we're, uh, we're, we're trying to make it an, an attractive and inviting kind of place. Uh, we are taking some of the developers that we think are particularly valuable to our ecosystem, and we're giving them a chance to show their wares to the world. Uh, we work very hard on the barrier to entry. We think it should be very, very easy for somebody who is competent at development to pick up Android, learn Android, publish applications, start to monetize them, make a living, and improve the world. And it's already pretty easy, and we work all the time on making it even easier to do that. Great, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks for